United did now to reach this final. The competition involved the top eight clubs in the first division last season. And welcome to Villa Park for the climax of the Football League extended birthday party. The celebrations began over a year ago and this is the grand finale. Both the Gunners and United have started the season very well and we should be in for a lovely contrast between the high scorers from Highbury and the mean defence of the men from Old Trafford. And we've got an extra incentive as well. It's winner take all and there's 50,000 pounds in the kitty. And that's guaranteed a very competitive approach. Uh, well, I don't think we'll see much of that, you know, but uh, no, I mean, that's a good incentive for the club. Um, you know, it's revenue that they need and um, you know, like we say, we're going out to enjoy the game. It's a game where there's not so much pressure on you, so the lads can go out there and enjoy the game and play good football, and that's what we're looking for. I think any match against Manchester United, or between Manchester United and Arsenal, are important. Uh, we're both big clubs, uh, whether it's a friendly match or uh, the FA Cup or the league, uh, or even this trophy, is very important. We must win. Well, our finals are always there. It's a lot to be winning, and I, and I always feel that, that uh, it's not just about uh, being happy to be here, it's been a happy for winning it. So a lovely atmosphere building up here at Villa Park. Let's enjoy the action now with your commentator, Ryan Moore. So the league centenary celebrations end here. A cold and very damp day in the Midlands. They began a little over 12 months ago in the sunshine at Wembley where Diego Maradona and his rest of the world global team faced a Football League 11. The Football League won 3-0 that day in front of 61,000 fans. And now they hope for a genuine showpiece to round off their celebrations. And there's certainly enough talent in these two sides to ensure that. Manchester United so consistent in defence this season. Much of that down to their Scottish international goalkeeper Jim Layton. Uh, but uh, they're without key central defender Paul McGrath today. He's got an ankle injury. Billy Garton takes his place. They're also without Gordon Strachan in midfield. He's a substitute. Jesper Olsen plays. Arsenal field the side that won well at West Ham. And last week, Steve Bold remains at number five in place of the long-serving and apparently disgruntled David O'Leary. Paul Merson was strongly in contention for a striking position, but Perry Groves keeps it, and Merson is a sub. There's no doubt that United look considerably more solid in defence with Jim Layton in goal. Only three goals conceded in nine games. That bears that out. And the fact that Mark Hughes is back after playing in Barcelona and Bayern Munich. Goals in each of his last two league matches. However, Alan Smith's goal scoring for Arsenal takes some beating. Nine so far this season. So referee George Courtney gets this centenary game underway. Manchester United in a chain strip of all blue today, attacking the goal to our left. Certainly plenty at stake with a winner-take-all situation here of some £50,000. And indeed, George Graham, the Arsenal manager, quite sure in his attitude, if you enter a tournament, you should aim to win it, he says. So Arsenal will be firing on all cylinders this afternoon. United showing some good form in the league of late. Leclerc for Hughes. Davenport away on the right-hand side with Olsen away on the left for Manchester United this afternoon. An offside and a free kick to Arsenal. See the rain piling down hence the a lot of the terraces deserted but up for under cover there's quite a crowd here at Villa Park after day Lukic some 15 yards outside his penalty area with this free kick clearing Leclerc up goes Groves but he's beaten there by Garten Davenport again for Manchester United. And Steve Bruce getting it back to Jim Lee. The 30 year old former Aberdeen keeper. Blackmore with Manchester United's throw. Bruce 
Mr. Blackman. Davenport. Hughes. Ten minutes. A low score in this mercantile credit Football League centenary final between Arsenal and Manchester United. Here's Michael Thomas of Arsenal. Okay, Smith touched on and a good one there. Marwood now in for Smith again. Robson right back doing a good captain's job. Well, there's never any lack of commitment there from Brian Robson. That was a crucial interception as Marwood and Smith began to combine well just outside that Manchester United penalty area. Trying to set Groves away. Smith is Olsen. Darken to uh, Bruce. Hughes. Oh, a delightful ball. The flag stays down. McClear is through. Stopped by the legs of Lukic. What a great ball by uh, Hughes. And certainly the Arsenal defenders were looking hard, but now they have to look to... Uh, Leighton there to come out and save from the feet of Marwood. Well, a uh, couple of great bits of action there. A certain amount of controversy over that first one, whether McClear was offside, but it uh, cannoned off the legs of Lukic. And a very timely piece of work at the other end by Jim Leighton for Manchester United. United combination there between Sharp and Olsen and McClare going forward again looking for Hughes who's got Davenport away on the right another fine ball by Hughes and Davenport has managed to pick it up again and uh, there must have been a handball by Hughes well a wildly exciting spell silence any doubts anybody may have about whether or not these teams are taking this final seriously it's full of good digging tackles and some excellent skillful play some lovely ball through balls played there by mark hughes on the end of it for Manchester United. Bruce once more into touch. Still the rain comes teeming down. Marwood. of course that this match should be played here William McGregor the founder of the Football League some 100 years ago had great Aston Villa connections for this one. Another corner. So a good atmosphere here and a really good competitive spirit in it as well. As Marwood takes another corner for us. Over towards the near post. Michael Thomas turning it back. last week against West Ham psychologically very important for any man to get on 
the old score sheet at the start of the season. He did it, and so did Rowcastle last week. And here's Thomas today. It was a difficult angle, just couldn't keep it down. is that people where they are uh, getting under cover wherever possible but the sun now threatening to come out talking to from referee George Courtney. Davis, in fact, remember, starts a nine-match ban later this month. Oh, well, that was a good emergency action there. Not once, but twice from Lukic. <laughs> First a header, and he realised he'd come outside the box, and then blocking a rather lame shot from Jesper Olsen. Quick wits and good skills from goalkeeper John Lukic. Davenport oh, picked out nicely there by Tony Adams young Arsenal skipper might come for Groves flurry of bodies there Groves goes down again that time brought down by Robson and it'll be a free kick for Arsenal uh, three or four yards outside the Manchester United penalty area Look at this crazy English weather again. Lowering skies and heavy rain for so much of the day. And now it's conditions that you would say were more akin to cricket than football. Rose okay. He's taken a bit of a buffeting from uh, Steve Bruce and from Brian Robson this afternoon. Arsenal now then with the free kick. Davis and Thomas behind it. Davis, easy for the keeper. Brightly, the rain, if anything, is heavier now. Davis, nice little ball played for Marwood. Groves is waiting in the middle. Smith's coming up fast, and it's into the net there by Paul Davis. Well, they've been tough old times for Paul Davis. Now facing that nine-match ban on October the 15th. It starts after that punching incident with Glenn Cockerill of Southampton. But that's the other side of the coin for him as he finds the net and puts Arsenal 1-0 ahead. Good work by Marwood. So much of Arsenal's good work these days comes from that left flank. And the number eight there, a splendid shot, 1-0. forecast this but somewhere around Villa Park yes that's there it is sure enough the rainbow Olsen almost getting it through for Brian McClare the virtue of a quickly taken free kick almost seen there as Arsenal were caught napping Davis, scorer of the only goal so far. 
Six minutes of the first half remaining. Here at Arsenal, one nil. from being a handball by uh, Steve Bruce there. The ball really whipping off this wet turf. Bold. Sharp to McClare. Going past Dixon. Finding Olsen. Posting low this time. Winterburn there for Arsenal. Smith. Marwoods, Davis, Thomas kept on side, played on side by Billy Garden. Michael Thomas now for Arsenal, and that's two. <laughs> Under the body of Leighton, to the delight of the Arsenal fans, and two goals in a matter of four minutes now for Arsenal. Garton had played Thomas onside, there was no doubt about that. Out comes Slayton. Between the legs, under the body, into the net, 2-0. A formidable young midfield player, 21 years old, growing in stature with every game. And Michael Thomas makes it 2-0 for Arsenal. Dangerous game there. That would have been a bad place to lose, and it might still be. Robson now for Manchester United. Hughes onto the left foot, charged away. They claim handball against Bold. The referee felt that it was ball hitting hand and not hand hitting ball. Arsenal breathe again. in the last 10 minutes of the half and preferring Jim Layton at the moment Adams gets it back Arsenal captain to Arsenal coming forward. Left-sided players are worth so much. And they look so strong down that left side now. It's in no small part to the number three there, Nigel Winterburn. There's Marwood's cross once more across the face of the United goal. It'll be a goal. and his Arsenal men as Jim Layton takes this goal kick for Manchester United half time whistle Arsenal two up after a really, really red blooded skillful and very competitive first half between Arsenal and Manchester United Paul Davis after 36 minutes putting Arsenal into the lead and the man just in front of him there Michael Thomas 
making it two before the interval. And the crowd here are thoroughly enjoying it, particularly those from North London. The half-time score then at Villa Park is Arsenal 2, Manchester Tony Adams, the young Arsenal captain, 22 years old tomorrow. Not a bad way to start your celebrations. 2-0 ahead in this Mercantile Centenary Cup Final here at Villa Park against Manchester United. And of course, it would be a major surprise if Tony on his birthday doesn't get another call-up from England's Bobby Robson for the World Cup game against Sweden. there with Thomas it came to nothing for Manchester United Lee Garten Hughes versus Bold it's difficult to handle he backs into pairs he loves shielding the ball so well and a good shot there from McClare that Lukic had to use his six-foot frame to get down to that one. You know, you probably needed an early response like that in this second half to make them feel they can get back into this game. 2-0 down. but Olsen who goes off so the ball out of play the substitution will be made Olsen goes off Gordon Strachan comes on for Manchester United. Right. In a certain rearrangement in the United side. Strachan probably playing here on this right-hand side and Davenport probably switching across to the left. Dixon with the throw for Arsenal. in goes Robson Davenport and Strachan in a lot of space on this side if they could have found him he could have made a very early and uh, positive impression a free kick given to Manchester United a foul on Brian Robson and this means something to win today So, United with Robson and Strachan and Lee Sharp and Clayton Blackmore behind this free kick. Looking for a way to get back into this final. 2-0 down to get past this Arsenal wall, past John Lukic. Clayton Blackmore shot charged down by Michael Thomas. Here's the 17-year-old Lee Sharp. Davis. Now Winterburn, Strachan, flag was up for an offside against Brian Marwood, Robson, Bruce beaten in the air by Smith, this not happened very often this afternoon, here's little Strachan, Long-range shots, no kick to Arsenal. Just as 
Alec Ferguson uh, spent the first half in the director's box and now he's down on the bench. The same could be said for the Arsenal manager, George Graham. It's been going very, very much Arsenal's way, 2-0 up. Made sure he didn't get it. It ain't. There's Marwood again. He's been a real live wire for Arsenal. Adams. Smith. Saved miraculously there by Leighton. Not out of the play yet. Now it is. Terrific save by Leighton. From that close range header from Alan Smith. Strachan playing it forward. McClare. This is great stuff now. Hughes. Free kick, dangerous position this, right on the edge of the penalty area, and very, very central. United fans behind John Lukic's goal, playing for a little bit of success now. Strachan might be able to add a twinkling little a variation here. Robson might thunder something. Blackmore is close at hand as well. Played instead for Stephen Bruce. Garton's up and up there. Arsenal get it away. Blackmore will turn it in once more. Flicked on by Robson, away by Adams, and then by Rowcastle. Here's young Lee Sharp. What's the good bit of play by him? Smith whacking it clear for Arsenal. Good challenge there by Duxbury and a perfectly fair one. Here's Blackmore taking it up now for Manchester United to McClare. Smith from Thomas. Robson's after him. Well, I think we needed that to go out of play to get our breaths back. Bruce Strachan. Just over a quarter of an hour left. Robson. Robson. Made him again for Robson to go after it, Lukic, McClare, Lukic gets there again. Good, the red beat of football here, and the Arsenal players unhappy with the way that Robson and McClare both went in. But Lukic is big enough to look after himself, six foot four of him, and, and he's got a free kick. Robson is made in again there, 
by Clayton Blackmore. Down goes the keeper, doesn't get it cleanly. There he is again as Leclerc comes in. Alongside him in a good position. Uh, and McClare will be annoyed that, yes, as you can see, that he didn't finish a lot better than that. What a climax we've got here, and what a terrific game this is turning out to be. The ball deflecting off Marwood. Suddenly McClare is through. Out of the picture on the left, clear was Hughes, and down went Lukic. cup final these two played back in 1979 when Arsenal looked to be coasting at two and United clawed their way back in only for Arsenal to win it for the last gasp it was that sort of thriller then and really this is a, a fine and thrilling game here at Villa Park this afternoon foul by Bowles and for those who've had to suffer the rain it's been a very worthwhile exercise. And those who yeah. had trouble getting here because the trains were held up, I gather from Manchester, the delayed, there was a delayed start of 15 minutes to let everybody get in. There were some engineering works on the line. But all those delays and frustrations have been worthwhile. Garten has his shot charged down. Strachan belting it through, just wide. will get back into this game there's something like 12 minutes left for them to do it still Darton had his shot charged down it falls for little Gordon Strachan hit first time flying one and Manchester United are making another substitution and Russell Bearsmore is coming on and Peter Davenport going on Beardsmore, 20 years old from Wigan. His midfield or defence is coming across, possibly to play right back. An indication of how much Manchester United have had of this second half. There's no doubt that Lukic has been by far the busier goalkeeper. being kept very busy concentration 100 percent there here's more this cross is in there a flying header by clayton blackmore and united are back in this game well the little substitute russell beardsmore that one, but there, who's been tireless in his effort, here's Russell Beersmore. That's a delightful little cross, but what a flying header there by Clayton Blackmore, and it was beyond John Lukic. And we have five minutes left, and a real climax in prospect. Smith is up, Merson's after it. Bold, 
Robson. Winterburn. More. Only five foot six, nothing of him. Robson, plenty of him. And we've seen most of it today. Good play as well. Combining with Strachan. Robson now as United come forward again. Joe Castle. It's all United at the moment. McClare comes down, he's brought down, the free kick quickly taken by Hughes, but from the wrong place. Strachan with the uh, free kick. Can United now save this one and bring it back to 2-2? Two -two? It's a fabulous atmosphere here at uh, Villa Park now. Robson, a little cheeky chip by him. Smith was helping out there. And Strachan tried to turn it in, a corner for United. Stuff now as United want to get on with this one. Strachan looking to see who's available. Steve Bruce is poised up there. It's curled in there sharp and nodded away beyond his own goal by Alan Smith. Three minutes left now. Plenty of blue in the Arsenal penalty area now. McClare amongst them. Steve Bruce is in there too. And Arsenal will be delighted to get this one away. But not yet. The throw is United's. Bruce with it. McClare. Goalkeeper's ball. The flag was up in any case. coming towards the last two minutes of the game now. Duxbury, losing out. Arsenal need this reprieve. Little Marwood is on the chase. He's got some support from Smith. Not much of it, though. So taking the old pro's trick and playing it away towards the corner flag. The last minute of the game now. Arsenal leading by two goals to one. Rowcastle with the throw. Merson. Marwood. Arsenal just content at the moment to play it around and keep possession, and then Rowcastle loses it. Manchester United come back this now led by Brian Robson on the ball at the moment here's Billy Garton all the defenders are coming forward now to try and snatch this equalising goal it comes to Robson oh some great work there by Paul Davis another corner it looked a surefire thing that United would save it with Robson in that position but Davis defended superbly here's the corner Strachan with it. Arsenal get it away. Hughes try and get it in. It'll just go across that line for a goal kick. And that might just be Manchester United's last chance. football and the football league as well what a fitting climax to their centenary two sides who served up a worthy match to celebrate the league centenary here at Villa Park full of fire and great skill none more so in the second half when Manchester United came storming back seeking to wipe out the two goal lead here that Arsenal had gained in the first half with Paul Davis and Michael Thomas Tony Adams, the victorious Arsenal captain.
the defender who had to do a lot of work as Arsenal came firing, or rather Manchester United came firing back at them uh, with Clayton Blackmore's headed goal, making sure we had a really fiery finish. we get the presentations we shall also be talking to some of the players at the center of this remarkable game and that's after the break the losers come up first but what fabulous losers they've been Manchester United led possibly by the man of the match on this momentous day Brian Robson came back so well in that second half Manchester United and played a full part in a really memorable afternoon for the Football League yeah. Orton Strachan who came on as a sub 17 year old Lee Sharp Peter Davenport, one of the substitutes. Now it's the turn of the winners. As Arsenal go up. The Arsenal fans have had a fabulous afternoon here. 22 and a half thousand in the crowd. Millions at home uh, and around the world on television. have really enjoyed a fine game. But the Arsenal skipper Tony Adams comes up to take the Mercantile Credit Football League Centenary Trophy to be presented by Mr. Mike Taylor, the marketing director of Mercantile Credit. And many doubted the sort of game we should get this afternoon. Many fans will be delighted with what they saw. It's always good to win a trophy. And the first real one of the season goes to Arsenal. Arsenal hold on in fine style against a fiery Manchester United comeback. They conceded 13 goals in their nine games this season. There was doubts about how well their new back four was bedding in. But in the end, they did Arsenal proud and held out against a very determined Manchester United side. Paul Davis, Michael Thomas, Clayton Blackmore. The score is here at Villa Park. somebody who played a really important part in this Arsenal victory Brian Marwood a little winger down that left hand side 